Hey everybody, Jeff Bromley here and welcome back to Tech Talk where we talk all things digital. Today we're going to talk about the Apple Watch in healthcare. We've had some, we've had some recent announcements from Apple and it's going to change the way we possibly can use this device in healthcare and more specifically in clinical trials. A few years ago I talked about the Apple Watch in healthcare and how we can connect patients with clinical trial centers. The challenge that we had was that you always needed the phone because the phone and the watch needed to be paired with one another. Since Apple has announced that there's going to be cellular capabilities inside the watch, that frees us up to do a lot more and allow people a lot more freedom with the watch and being able to track things. So now it's going to be even easier for the patient to have a two-way communication between the patient and the tri trial center. All they need to do is talk to the watch anywhere they are and be able to tell, let them know whether they're having an adverse event or whether they're not feeling well or to just check in and say, everything's okay, which probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> but we also have better monitors. We have heart rate monitors and mobility monitors. So now we know whether people are actually getting up, getting out of bed and moving around. And that could be checked remotely. That gives us a tremendous amount of information for the trial center to see whether that patient is actually getting up and getting out of bed. So it's gonna really create this two-way street between the patient and the trial center. And the one last thing, just in case this can actually communicate and alert emergency services. That's big, especially when you have a patient, you know, maybe a cancer patient, they're on a clinical trial and they need to be able to contact EMS and tell them that something major is going on. That's gonna be, that's gonna be big as well. Now you're thinking, all right, well, we have two major players that are vying for the clinical trial space. You have Apple and Google. Well, I'm gonna take Google and I'm gonna get rid of them out of the, the equation and I'm gonna go with Apple. Reason being, Apple is so laser focused on security and laser focused on patient data. This is gonna win every single time. Google is leaving it up to the developers to figure that out where Apple is Focused. They have, you know, you have your health kit and health store on the phone. They're stored specifically on the phone in a very regulated environment. You have to ask privileges for apps in order to be gain, gain access to that information. This is, again, this is huge. So if you want to explore how the watch can be used in your clinical trial or just have questions about the watch, give me a call, give me a ring. We're here and we want to talk. Did you like this video? If so, you can do a couple things right now to continue our technology journey together. One, like us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, follow us on YouTube. Or you can go to thingy.com to get more information. So I look forward to seeing you next time on Tech Talk. Until then, take care.